In the past several years, I've, I've spoken in many countries about the crisis that's coming, and a lot of people think that they're going to be okay in their country, that it's only going to happen to the United States or maybe the United States in Europe. Uh, but what they don't realize is that this is a global phenomenon. I've got to show you something here. This is uh, base currency in the United States. This is the number of paper dollars that exist, basically. It took 200 years to go from no dollars in existence to 825 billion. And then we had the bailouts, and then we had QE1, quantitative easing, one, then QE2, and then we had QE3, and then QE4, and then soon we're going to have QE57 and QE382. <laughs> and uh, it isn't just here. This is what the Canadian currency supply looks like. This is Australia, South Africa, Russia. Now, this starts out in just the year 2001, and this is like 18 times more currency in existence in a little over a decade. Uh, here's Singapore, same story. Look at that, since the crisis, just bam. India, China, every government on the planet is doing this insane deficit spending and expanding their currency supplies, uh, doing bailouts, and history shows that th there is no example of this turning out well. 